This is Redbeard, and on this adventure, journey with me to the heart of the Goldwing. In order to get this whole thing done, this air filter completed, I watched this uh, Steve Saunders video. Uh, I did want to point one thing he didn't mention was uh, this piece that goes over the fuel cap there. Uh, if you remove that, which doesn't take much, there's just some clips here on the back. It just kind of slides out. Um, if you take that off, it gives you more room to move all these cables out of the way, and that seemed to help uh, quite a bit. Uh, other than that, that video that he made was a wonderful help. Uh, so if you're thinking about changing out your air filter, I'd say check with the Steve Saunders video, and uh, just remember there's one little trick here, uh, which you might figure out on your own, uh, but if you're nervous about it, it does come out, and I can put it right back in. I don't, uh, I don't have a tripod set up, so uh, by the magic of video so the thing goes in and just slides in right over that that's where your cap goes but it pops right in and and there it is uh, so now it's kind of in the way for some of these cables um, but without it you can see there's a lot more room so easy easy little thing to add on um, maybe he mentioned it in the video I don't I don't remember that but that's a little trick that I I figured out well there it is in the heart of this gold wing is the air filter and I am made it I made it down to the air filter. So there we go, clean one, dirty one. Could the dirty one have lasted a little longer? Eh, maybe a couple more thousand miles. There's another trick I didn't mention in the video. If you look at some of the comments, somebody else mentioned this. Uh, you take a piece of cardboard or a cardboard box in my case. Uh, you poke some holes in it and, uh, and then you just put your your screws in there in the right order because as you know on these gold wings uh, these that go on the side there uh, those are like four different sizes all different so having them in order will save you some time when you put them all back together but if you notice I kind of put them in the right right order here so these are the four I'm about to put on it's the cover on top of the uh, the air filter cover uh, it's plastic upon plastic cover upon cover for all the work you do um, there's only this many um, screws um, but there's at least as many electrical connections uh, so make sure you get all those put back right so that's my challenge now make sure i get all those put back in there uh, cleaning up as i go and then uh, i gotta put in my head beam on my high beams now that i've completed the air filter replacement before i put everything back together it was time to install my Pathfinder LED low beams. Now low beams and high beams are the same, uh, but I replaced my high beams before my uh, Oregon the Key West trip. So high beams are done, except for the low beams. Well, when I replaced the low beams, I, I removed, or the high beams rather, I removed as little as possible. Uh, so I kind of tucked things up in there. So the bike all apart, the high beams are easy to replace. I was able to tidy up my low beam cables, as well as my cable I used to run my USB port up to the handlebars. So with the work completed, it was time for a test drive. My dad was coming back from the Mississippi Governor's ride. Uh, so I gave him a call, found out where he was, uh, rode down and met him uh, just a few miles down the road. Uh, rode with him back, uh, bike worked flawlessly. Uh, the next day I was headed out to Atlanta. My parents live in Mississippi, so Mississippi to Atlanta, Georgia. Um, I went to push the, the button to display what the temperature was. It seemed a little warm, um, but it didn't work. Push the button, nothing worked. I realized there was one plug I didn't plug in. I was so careful to get everything done, but I did miss one. Uh, but thankfully, it was easy to get to. As soon as I stopped for fuel, popped the cover off, reached underneath, plugged it in, ready to ride. Uh, made it back to Atlanta without issue. Uh, nothing else was uh, seemed to be the matter. So I'm, I'm now ready for my trip to the Smoky Mountains with my dad and my uncle. Uh, the oil's replaced, air filters replaced, got my low and my high beams as LED. Uh, so things are looking good. So this is Redbeard. Until my next adventure, see you on the road.